can't see it. Uh -uh. So I'm just trying everything that I've got, so. Uh, fix a piston. Why I think that you can't know, but I've got the green key card, so it's gotta be the green key card. Come on. Sort it out. There we are. <laughs> Took a while, but I worked out. It was just that, that green thing for some reason. I, I didn't put two and two together, and I was like, okay. Yeah, I should have really realised, okay, that maybe you need a green key card for that, but yeah. Well, mine's another thing, so we're in a new area now. Okay, interesting. There's a door there which I can't get to. There's a sentry robot there. Just to try and give me a good scare, and there's like another door, so. Look at this. I think this is where we need to go. This was the area that was drained. I think this was where um, rain got to. Was it rain? Or oh, one of them, but we couldn't progress any further, so now that this area's drained, Hannah can can uh, come here. So this is what rain was on about. Oh god, there's like a dead robot there. I think the yellow ones are the good ones, the red ones are the ones you don't want, the coloured ones. Right. See how we picked up another component, so we've got um, a fixer head key, we've got a fixer piston, a machine cog, so I think we need uh, two more items for the robot, so yeah, you you will see that, that robot that we saw where the door that was shorting out, we need like, I will come to it and it'll be like, well I need a battery, so I need to kind of figure out, oh god, oh my god, all close and personal there, I need to figure out how to use that videotape, that's the thing. That's going to be the, the challenge. Oh, it's not the Right, get that thing. Okay, brilliant. Right, let's pop down. Excellent, eh? Right, it looks like this might be where we need to be. Right, if we go through here, there's no save point here, I might just imagine. Yes, there is. Excellent. So, we'll save the game here. Fan Dabby Dozy. Right, we'll just check that. That's so far so good. It's going really well. I mean, um, nothing nothing that's really stumped me too much. I think it's more a case of like, I get a bit mixed up with the passageways um, a little bit later on because I said they do kind of look in the. This bit's nice and easy, so I do know I have to come here. Just get through these bloody things. That'd be alright. You think, as I said, you could do the same thing going back, but you really can't. So this is the room we need to be in now. Come on, get in that room. There we go. Alright. Anything in here? Any leftovers for Hannah to take care of? Oh god, oh yes. <laughs> ah, I knew that was gonna happen. Take out the bloody robots. They don't like me at all. Loads of them in here. Security's been beefed up to the max. So with that, we can now pop through this uh, this door here to this one area. Is there anything here? We're all dead. So that, this is where they, where Rain fought that dude, but they've kind of disappeared. So right, how queer. What do we have? There's the red red door. The, the, what I call the laser door. Oh. And this must be the way because we got like um, more robots. Right, this room, I think it's pointless, isn't it? I don't think we can do anything in here. Or, or we've already done what we need to do in here. There's nothing more that we can do. So I just thought I'd check because, as I said, there's different characters. Um, normally, there's a different item waiting for a different character sometimes, or a different way of solving the puzzle. I'm not sure, but anyway. Luckily in this case it's absolutely fine, we don't really need to do anything, it's all good. Let's uh, leave the room if we can, so there's nothing here so let's get out of here. Right, let's go, we are, oh hello, hello soldier, bloody hell, he's, he's, got his, he's like where is she, he's like looking, I'm like right behind him, he tried to surprise me and I surprised him. Corner there. Right, there's like a little blinking red light there. I'm 
just going to walk slowly because you never know, there might be another robot or something, but no. Right, here we go, we use this system. So, it's obvious now we need to use the videotape. And we put the videotape in, there's two things, there's an advert and there's a, a message with a passcode we need for the door, we couldn't get in, there's two as rain. And only Hannah can do it, unfortunately, so, yeah. I think, anyway. I don't know if, if Hannah knows the password, she could get through it, but... Game probably wouldn't allow it, but you know what? I'm gonna give it a shot once I've done this. I think once I've completed this uh, game, machine cog. What am I thinking? Are your aqueducts falling apart? When was the last time your subterranean tunnel system passed a safety inspection? Well, your days of bribing public officials are over, thanks to the Fixer. Capable of a vast array of subterranean maintenance and construction, the Fixer is the answer to all your underground maintenance needs. Pesky intruder, vagrants, no worries. The Fixer is outfitted with the latest defense modules, making it the state of the art patrol sentry. The Fixer is the choice for any self-respecting government or corporation of the 21st century. Who needs workers when you can get the Fixer? Ah, uh, sir, the new code is 92572, and it seems to be working fine. Ah, uh, sir, the new code is 92572, and it seems to be working fine. Alright, there we go. So, yeah, so the fixer, uh, the first was like um, a clue, basically. It's that robot that Rain saw, so we have to use that. But we need all the parts to get it working again. The second one was the, um, the way obviously that coded door so now we have the passcode now we can get through that door so you can see that sometimes if you think oh I've got to do something with one character and you're struggling it might be a different character in this case it's Hannah who's uh, who can do it so pretty good so we might as well explore the other door now see what's in there see what we can see see what we can find see what's going down basically um, Oh god, I'm a little bit nervous though, but I think there's a save point we should be fine with. Let's do that, let's save the game while we're here. And here we are, in exactly where we need to be as well. Uh, just to get through that door. Fan dabby dozy, alright. That's what I'm talking about. Let's save the game. Alright, so, again, it's like remembering <laughs> where everything is. Oh, get lost. Just take him down, no problemo. And we'll just key in the code, which was nine, I think. Nine, two, five, seven, two. There we go. So we should be able to get in there, no problems there. Right, so. I think this is the tricky part because we actually need to distract some um, sentries to get through. So I think I die here a couple of times. But they just keep coming. They don't mess around. So let's just pick up them out. Right. See how they're all there at the bottom? They're all kind of doing stuff. We have to kind of find a way past them. Right, let's go through this door, see what we can do. So we have to, I think we do something, we activate something, then we've got to hide from them. This alerts them, then we just need to hide in the shadows because they need to investigate what's going on. But they're not, they don't really know what's going on, that's the thing. Alright, so this, you got to use the blast caps. I'm like, how would you even know how to do that? Nope. I mean, like... I, th I th thought I'd try everything here I because I like, at this point, I'll be honest, I didn't know I had to fix the robot, so I was like, what are these parts I'm picking up? But I just thought I'd try everything. I, don't think so. I thought I was maybe fixing one of these machines or something, but no. I better find a place to hide before those fixers get here. Kill you. I'll right, try this again. Uh, 
I better find a place to hide before those fixers get here. So hide in the shadows. Look at that, you get about 33 seconds to get this done before they come in. Now the idea is you've got to sneak out and just get out. And then that just drags down and gets more of these guys outside. So they're busy doing that. This allows me to access more of the facility. And look at this, more of these bloody robots keep coming. Amazing. Fantastic. This game's got everything, man. Tons of action, everything that you want. Alright, let's keep moving forward now. Right, I think we need to go down this ramp. At first, I didn't think I would go down, but like. Thought, where am I going? So, I think what we'll do is we'll save the game here. That way. It'll, I won't have to do the bit with the blast caps again, so yeah, always save your game frequently, trust me on this, because there's nothing worse than having to do a complicated sequence again. Um, I love this game. <laughs> first, the first 20 minutes of playing this, I was like, yeah, this is my game, this is like one of my favourite games ever, you know, it's love at first sight. I love the puzzles, I love the challenge, I love losing to be honest, I love like getting the answers right and then like trying to figure everything out. So yeah, we can go down here now. Sentry down there. They're just throwing these things at me here. Hopefully there's going to be some uh, payoff for all these sentries. Right, what's this? Something else we picked up there. So yeah, I think it's something to help me uh, repair the robot, which we will be encountering very soon. It's great as well. I don't feel like I'm running out of ammo, so I've got machine cog. Again, I think that goes in the room where rain was, I think. Possibly, so yeah, we'll figure it out. It'll all come together. So let's, uh, let's go and see where we can go. I don't think I can go back through that door though, that's the thing. No. Um, it's a no-go area now, so I guess we've got to go back. That's the only way to go now. Just gonna have a quick drink of my Lucas Aid guys. Right, let's save the game, I think. I don't know, I think I've got to head towards the robot. So I think we'll go towards the robot, but I'm pretty sure that I don't have all the components yet, so um, it, it won't hurt to kind of get everything that I've got and try and fix it up as much as I can. We just needed to get through a door essentially. Um, it's very cool though, nice little scene. Can we do anything here? I don't think we can, so we'll just keep going here. I don't think so. All right, that must be. The same door, I don't know, it's kind of in a really weird perspective here. Right, ah, there it is, see that, oh, that took me by surprise, see that robot, that's the robot we need to use. So yeah, I'm going to get pretty nope. confused here. Put the fixer chip in, which we picked up, I totally forgot like half the items I've picked up, but basically as I said, you pick up a lot of um, items uh -huh. to fix it, and you'll be like, what do I use this for, you know. But yeah, we need to put in a few things, the fixer chip, the fixer head key. So yeah, we've got, basically we select all three and all, th all three go into there. Actually there's four items that we need, so we've got three of them. So don't think you need to do anything extra here once you've done it, just, you know, select it and just, I think you've got to empty the field, so see at the bottom we need to press X and put them in the right areas. I think that's where I was going wrong, but I got really confused here. Even though it's a simple kind of setup, I was like, what the hell am I doing here? What's going on? Alright, so... Um, yeah, so... There we go. I just need, like, one more. I need to get that one in if it'll do it. There we are. We've got to move them in the right areas. There we are. So we, so there we go. There's nothing more we can do here. But at this point, I was like, it did confuse me a little bit. I was like, what? I need more, really? Nope. So you can see that there's a battery that's missing. So I kind of need a battery to get the thing going. And then that's it, really. 
It's just the only thing I'm missing. So um, I have to say the puzzles are pretty straightforward. I think my problem with this one was it was so straightforward that I thought it was more complicated. I thought it can't be that easy, surely. Yeah, you know, I'm like, what, what? And then I couldn't, I couldn't for the life of me work out what I needed. It turned out it was just a battery. That's all I needed, really. But yeah, I have, I have a little fiddle around. As you can see, the door is just like impassable. But it's pretty cool that we get to use this little thing to kind of get through. So yeah, I'm just one item out now. <laughs> That's all I need. And I kind of think, oh, you know, I need the battery. Where yep. is the battery? Is the thing. So yeah, I don't know whether it's on a robot or what. So yeah, I'm kind of fiddling about with this thing. But I don't mind leaving these bits in because it's like. You know, I did think, okay, well, I've got enough items, they've given me enough, surely that should do it, but no, there's always like one more. I thought maybe if I use the fix ahead a different way, if I do something, but no, um, no go, unfortunately. We're one item short, we can't really do anything to the robot, but yeah, I'm trying to tell my past self this uh, <laughs> now, but no, he's not having it. Yeah, I'm determined to kind of think of something else I need to press. But there's nothing that we can kind of do here. That's the problem. Oh my god, it's frustrating. I just need like one more item. I think at this point I was like, "Come on, man! I've, I've collected enough stuff. You know, what more?" But it's again. I think it's a bit of the cog I have. We have to take the cog, and then the cog goes in that big room where Rain fought the boss. Which you wouldn't think, really, to be honest. You think, you know, it'd be more. I think that's where we put it. Uh, nope. it's, yeah, I even tried the machine cog <laughs> for some reason because A, it's a machine. I thought maybe maybe I can cheese it that way. There's probably some cheat where I can kind of get all the items like in the first game, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do this uh, traditional the traditional way because that's just how I kind of roll, really. It's not super difficult anyway, so it's actually easier than it looks. So I even tried the EMP, but yeah. Nope. It's like I have to cut my losses here because it's like it doesn't work. It's obvious I need something. I need the battery and I don't have the battery, so... Uh -uh. Yeah. But, you know, I often think that um, you've got to try these things because you just never know. You know, as you can see, I'm just hoping against hope here. But, yeah, everything's lit up. And it's like, oh, my God, it's frustrating. I'm kind of in denial at this point. There's nothing I can do here, so... We might as well just move on. I apologise, but, yeah... It's kind of what was going through my head at the time. I was like, surely I don't need something else. But yeah, we, we need something else, unfortunately. Right, what's through here? Right, what's this room? Have we been here? Oh. Yeah, I think we've been here. Right, there's nothing here. I don't think, anyway. I just thought there might be some kind of cheeky item, but yeah. Let's get out of here. Alright, let's try somewhere else. I thought, you know, you've got to try these things because it's like... Uh -uh. Um, yeah, we can't go through that door. I don't know if we ever will get through that door, to be honest. I don't uh, think... I even try the machine. Oh, no. Nope. Doesn't do anything. Pop this way. Right, okay, so... So yeah, our only choice is to literally go back. We can't go, can't go forward. We've got to go back to go forward. I think so. This room, I think it's this room. We put the cog in. I don't know. I, I somehow find. Yeah, so I see that over there, and I'm like, okay, I don't remember that being there. So you have to kind of check the room completely. So we put the cog in. that no messing around so all the cogs are in now I say all the cogs <laughs> I've only got one so, but yeah they're all sort of working now but yeah it's kind of shown a robot somewhere so the only way it could be potentially is um, I think back the way that I came so it's not this way we've been that way so it's got to be a different way so yeah it's like I need I think that robot's got the battery on it that's what I'm guessing or it will help me unlock a new area. So there's a new red area. I say new red area. The infrared area we're going to check anyway, just in case. I don't think it is because, like, 
the noise was away from it, but I thought maybe something's changed. Um, this is the real kind of gritty part of the adventure because it's like I've done something, but what have I done? I've, I've got a robot, but I need to find that robot, so I don't really do myself any favours by <laughs> exploring this area, but I thought, you know, maybe it might be here, but I don't think this is it because look, there's like nothing more we can do here. We've already been here. Again, I was looking for some sort of change, but there's nothing. Uh, here. sir, the new code is nine two five seven two, and it seems to be working fine. Are your aqueducts? Yeah, still the same stuff. So yeah, I do literally have to go back and uh, need to try to figure this out a little bit. Again, I'm just like <sighs> wasting my time with this. So yeah, hoping against hope. I was just like, where's the battery? Give me the battery. All I could think about was like trying to get my hands on the battery and it's like, yeah, we've got to go back. There's no two bones about it. Once we have that, then we can get to the robot. Is this the thing that has it? No, I think it's just like pistol ammo. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to do a little bit more, unfortunately, but well, that's just the way it goes. We will, yeah, we've got to go back. We have to suffer the uh, collapsing blocks again, which are going to crush us to death, but well, that's all right. We've got to, got to figure this out now. Oh, I hate this so much. It's like the worst thing ever. I just, I'm just no good. I guess I'm just not standing in the right areas and I just get crushed too easily. Just move. Is that a thing to move? There we are, that's better. But yeah, if I could just get get out of this, I'd be fine. Right. Save the game here. <laughs> man oh man, what a trek it is to get this battery. We will get it though, but it's just one of those things in the game. As I said, um, You've got to check everywhere, so I don't mind if you know I'm backtracking a little bit and checking the areas again, because often I know what I'm like. I always kind of miss something. There's always something I've not, I've not done or I've not seen. I don't know why I'm going back here because it's pointless. There's nothing I can do here. I don't think anyway. I don't know why I'm going back here. <laughs> so I'm, I'm looking at myself as like I don't mind. Yeah, we're backtracking a little bit, so maybe maybe I missed something, I don't know, but there's nothing. I don't think there's anything here really, I think this is just like this will just take me back to the main room. But yeah, I think I might as well go and try and check on the robot again. See if there's anything else there. Something that I missed maybe, I don't know. So doesn't hurt to check, I guess, right? I think it's the other red door, though. <sighs> Maybe. Oh, I hate this so much. Is it this way? I think this is it, actually, so I think it's this way. No, it's not this way. Oh, God, I'm back here again. Backtracking again. I've no idea what the hell I'm doing here. If I'm honest, it's, at this point I just got really confused. I'm like, what am I even doing here? So it's not this way. There's nothing we can do this way. So that's a dead end. I don't know why I don't just freaking bite the bullet and just then. I'm just playing. I'm just like, what the hell am I doing? It's like, come on. Like, there we are. Bloody hell. Oh. It's a pain, so yeah, we have to go back. We have to uh, endure the blocks. I'm just, again, just nudging myself off to the sides, making sure there's no hidden items or anything that I've missed. Doesn't look like there's anything. Alright, just use this door. Alright, we'll, we'll just keep going. Oh my god, just let me through, please. See, I always end up like. I'm never gonna outwit these things, I think. Not without a lot of luck. 
I can kind of see where they are, but it's like I still get crushed anyway, it doesn't matter what I do. It was alright there, we are. Oh, famous last words. They just let me through on this one. There we are, right. So, let's see. Uh, okay. Please, what are you doing? I was saving the game. I was like, bloody hell, just climb up the bloody thing, Hannah. Stop fanning about it. There we are. Right, turning myself off there. So it's got to be this way. Has to be. There's no other way that I can go. I've explored every single option. Right, what's this door? And there's that door. Aha! Right, so I think we go down this way now. Right, that robot's got nothing on it. Oh, poor thing's out of commission. Right, we'll just we'll just pop up this ladder then, hopefully. Come on, Hannah, can you hurry up, please, girl? There we are. Yeah, so this is the right way. Right, good. Right, and there's a couple of doors here, so... Right, we need to be here. So we need to explore this area thoroughly. Let's see <laughs> what we've got. No, we can't go through that one. But there is a door here, so... There's also a way down to a ramp. Right, so we've been here. So it's not here because this is where we use the hook, I believe. So it's definitely not here. All right, get out the room. All right, turn around, Hannah, and we'll try and head over to the ramp if we can. Yeah, there's a save point here. Fan Dabby Dozy. All right, we'll use that. So yeah. Was this right at the beginning? I, you know, I can't even remember. It's possible. I think we're right at the start where we were before, so now I think we can maybe progress in a different direction, hopefully. Oh, this is so confusing. But let's let's have a look. Yeah, I think there's something else we can do now. Alright. Can we move? Oh, the robot anyway. Let's see what he's got. We can no longer go into this door, so that's good because it tells us we we can't go there. So that's one one less thing to worry about. So why even send me here then if I can't do anything? Surely there's something that I've missed. Or did that robot have like a battery on it? I couldn't even see. So all right, maybe there's a different route. It kind of sucks that. You know, at this point, I'm like, what? What am I required to do? You know, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, no, I don't know. I'm proper confused now. Right, so we've gone that way. There's, I think there's a few other doors. Maybe there's more doors I need to explore. I don't know. There's a. I'm getting really confused now because we go through one door. There's another door. There's that door, but there's also an area straight ahead, so we've been that way, so, right, can we go down, see there's this I didn't even see, this area, so this is it, this is where we need to be, at this point, so I totally missed this bit, so that's on me, there's a bloody robot there, and he's a bit of a pain to kill, but we can just get him. Nope, not quite. <laughs> Let's try that again. Up you go, Hannah girl. There we are. I think he had it. I think he had the thing on him. Let me have a look. Yes, we got the battery. So now we can go and fix the robot, I think. But there's a door up here, I think. What's through this door? Oh, this is new. I like it. Anything new is good. There's a save point as well, come on. Fantastic. So yeah, took us a while guys, but we got there in the end.
Right, let's save that. Lovely stuff. Alright, good. Uh -uh. Right, so, I think... Yeah, we might as well go and uh, try and sort the robot out now. This door. Right. I'm trying to figure this out here. Um, I think we've got to go back this way. See, at this point, I'm like really confused. But anyway, we'll head back towards where the robot is, and now we can put the battery in, and now we can get that robot to work at long last. Apologies, guys, but like, yeah, uh, this game just has me stumped because it's like, oh, you've got to do quite a lot. You know, I'm quite surprised, you know, and I don't mind, as I said, uh, that is quite puzzle heavy. But as I said, I don't mind, as I said, going back and checking everywhere again, because you just never know something new might have opened. So it, you know, it doesn't hurt to check everywhere and just try and do what you can do, really. Oh, that steam. Oh, I'm not going in there. It's definitely not. No bloody way. Right, we're going to go back. We're going to try and get to the robot if we can. Come on, Hannah girl, we gotta get there. But yeah, the problem is because that one, that large room that we've been in where we put the cog, um, I said there's two red areas, and like I, I forget like which the, where the robot is. Oh my god, it's uh, super confusing. But um, I guess we gotta like find out what what's going on, fix the robot. That's the only way we're gonna progress. So yeah, frustrating is not a word here. Right, gotta keep moving. Right, move this way. Okay. Right, let's fix that bloody robot anyway. Get it sorted. Get through. Now, uh, hopefully, <laughs> I can remember which one it is because, uh, yeah, as I said, there's the laser area, but I think it, uh, is it in the normal red area. I think that's where I need to go. But yeah, it's like you got to use little visual cues, I think, just to help you. So look where the blood is. I think this is the right way. Yeah, I think this is it. So it'll be. The left, the left hand door. So yeah, I'm getting there slowly. I'm getting better and navigating my way around. Fantastic. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Anyway, you know, it's like um, the explore, the exploration is just part of it. You know, sometimes it's like it's interesting. I find those videos interesting where you like you're watching the let's play and it's like okay, um, what what's what's he doing? Maybe you know what's going through his mind at this point and you know as you saw I was backtracking I was, that's what I'm telling you exactly was going on in my mind I was like trying to fix the robot I was like come on I must have all the parts but I was just like one part missing but now we have it we can put the old battery in Bob's your uncle Fanny's your aunt let's do it oh it feels so good to get this thing up and running I'm trying to put it in did I put it in use the fixer right okay there we are. Look at this. <laughs> all, all that work just for it to just to do that. There we are, just for it to activate the door. <laughs> so, it was an important door though, I will say that much. Oh, there we are, there's a bloke behind it there trying to take his name. Man oh man, loads of enemies. So I'm going to save the game here. I'm going to end this set of videos. So all that's left to say now is thank you very much. This has been Lucas from Swagabon. Thank you so much for taking the time to check out one of my retro Let's Play videos. I really appreciate it. Or indeed this uh, stack of uh, four or five parts. 
Um, if you are enjoying this video and like what you see, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button now. Hit that bell notification icon also because that way you'll be instantly subscribed to Swagabond and you'll be notified every time I upload a brand new retro gaming video, meaning you won't miss a thing. If you have enjoyed this video as well, don't forget to uh, drop me a like on it. It really, really helps out the channel. Comment on this video. Let me know your Fear Effect memories, Fear Effect 2 memories, or indeed any survival horror or any PlayStation related memory or any gaming memory from any system. I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to share this video around with everybody that you know, anybody that you think might be interested in this type of retro content. It really, really helps with YouTube's algorithm, it allows my channel to grow and it means more blokes and birds across the land will be able to find and access my content consistently and easier and finally, 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 you can follow my social media. There will be links in this video description. Thank you so much for taking the time to check out uh, this stack of Fear Effect 2 videos. I'll have more filmed pretty soon. I'm going off now for a nice hot cup of tea. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time uh, for some more Fear Effect madness. Take care and I'll see you soon.